Sometimes when you are reading, information is given in a clear way that is easy to understand. When facts are clearly stated, you don't have to figure anything out. Look at this example. Sarah screamed when the spider dropped down from its web. We know that Sarah screamed. We know that she screamed when she saw the spider. The sentence clearly states these facts. Is there anything else we know about this moment? Yes, there are important things that are not clearly stated in the sentence. For example, how did Sarah feel when the spider dropped down? We can infer that Sarah was frightened. We can make this inference based on our own background knowledge. We know that people scream when they are scared. Does Sarah like spiders? We can infer that Sarah does not like spiders. We know people scream when they see something they do not like. When you make these inferences, you use your background knowledge. Background knowledge are the things we have learned about life. When we combine background knowledge with facts in a sentence, we are making inferences. Inferences help you understand what you are reading. Making inferences is a critical thinking skill that takes practice. I want you to do Batman with me. First, I'm going to read the paragraph. Batman. Batman is one of the most famous superheroes in history. He doesn't have any superpowers. Instead, he relies on technology, martial arts, and his high intelligence to overcome his enemies. Batman's alter ego is Bruce Wayne a wealthy businessman. Bruce Wayne uses his money to build the high-tech gear and cars that Batman drives. Batman's biggest enemies are the Joker and the Penguin. A fun fact about Batman is that he teamed up with Superman and they both know each other's true identity. Okay, now that we've read the paragraph, we're going to make some inferences. Let's look at number one. Why do you think Batman had an alter ego? It doesn't quite come out and tell us that in the paragraph. It does tell us his alter ego is Bruce Wayne, who happens to be a very wealthy businessman, but it doesn't tell us why. We have to infer. So, of course, I'm going to put my topic, Batman, and I'm going to use a complete sentence. I think Batman, Batman had an alter ego because he needed a way to pay for all of his expensive, what would you call it, like gadgets? Like his cool car and all the little gizmos he had. So an inference, your inference might be different than someone else's. And that's okay if you have the facts from the paragraph to back it up. Number two, list two facts that support your answer to number one. Okay, my First fact, it says, instead, he relies on technology. Remember, the facts come straight from the text. Okay, now I need to find a second one. Let's see. Ooh, Bruce Wayne uses his money to build the high-tech gear and cars that Batman drives. Batman drives a high-tech car. Hmm. 
Maybe Batman uses high-tech gear. And has a car. I'm, I'm making an inference that the car is high-tech because it doesn't come right out and say it in the paragraph. So I had to change that around. I know he has high-tech gear and I know he has a car. Cars are expensive. Okay, so I fixed that one so it's a fact straight from the text. Number three, what background knowledge did you use to make your inference? Um, I think Batman had an alter ego. He needed a way to pay for all of his expensive gadgets. My background knowledge is that um, high-tech gear is expensive. I know this because when I go shopping, I see the high price tag. And of course, I'm going to make this smaller so we can all read it. Um, so my background knowledge is really when I go to the store, I can see that high-tech gear costs a lot of money. All right, guys, just remember an inference uses background knowledge and facts in a sentence.